What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? It's your boy, um, no punk, um, no punk. Another one just for you, fam. This one's gonna be about America, the decline of America. We are in decline, fam, in decline. As a superpower, we are slacking. You no, know, we are um, falling down the food chain, falling down the food chain. And Nigga Damas predicts that American children will be speaking Mandarin within 50 years. True shit, fam. True shit. You look out through all the world. What's the number one language that um people are learning and speaking nowadays? Mandarin. Mandarin. You go out through all through Africa. All the countries there. The little kids are learning Mandarin inside schools. They're trying to, um, how you saying, just delete the American currency, the dollar, the USD. They want to get rid of it. You know, they're fighting hard to keep it up, but um, it's looking weaker and weaker and weaker. It reminds me about 20 years ago, I was um, at a, a money exchange. It was in Europe. And I would exchange my d dollars for euros. And the man looked at me in a joking way and said, who, who wants this play money? Nobody wants his dollars no more. Nah, so I laughed at him, right? But later on in life, it's true. The dollar is nothing. Nobody wants a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Only person I think with the dollar, the greenback, or Americans who have never left the country, who have never been nowhere, who have never... Um, earned another currency or spent another currency. You know what I'm saying? Your dollar cannot compare to the, um, for example, Durham's, um, what else? Liras, or just different currencies, you know, especially the Middle East currency, Saudi Arabia. All these currencies are, are, are three times more than a dollar bill. I don't see how the, the American dollar has lasted this long. But like I said, the time is up now. The time is up now. India is now partnering with Tanzania, right? Before this always used American money and then for import, export, and the trade. That's done now. Tanzania is not using um, the USD no more. They're going to use their money. They're going to use their own currency dealing with um, India. So that's another blow right there to America. Even that's a small blow, but that's how um, I'm saying. It's like a little snowball starting to roll down the hill that everyone's going to start doing that. Say, we want to use our own currency and stop using the USD. For what? Who uses USD? But inside America, you know, it's, it's not needed nowhere around the world. No one values a dollar no more. You know, it's like, this shit out here. You know, a dollar's really nothing, right? But if you look at the world right now, fam, um, America is it's starting to lose. You know, it's losing. It's not a bad thing. Everyone has their reign. Everyone thinks... Oh, we are number one, we are a superpower, that we should be a superpower forever and ever and ever and ever. It doesn't work like that. America's been a superpower for maybe 107 years, which is really nothing. If you look at false empires in the world who last a thousand years, two thousand years running stuff, you know, like Nubians, came in, whatever it is around the world. So stop thinking that we are some kind of big power. We can, we can always be here. We see what's happened now in America. It's fallen. It's crumbling. I've been telling this for so damn long. Because I'm on the outside looking in. But people live in there. They're inside that bubble. It's like, you watch them. They're like little animals inside a cage. But they don't know to make things better. They don't know how to make things better. Because it's not. It's not getting no, no shape or form better. Especially for the black man in America. They are done. I don't care what you say. You can come back to me always, always. But you can never come back with proof. You can never come back with proof. Like I said before, you're second class citizens. In your own country, when it was black and white, maybe now had a lot of Asians and Chinese, but now you get every culture's coming over here. They're willing to work for um for less money, and they're gonna work hard too to get their shit there, right? But people in America, they got too complacent, you know, too complacent with handouts, with welfare and things like that. Other countries around the world don't have no kind of welfare systems and things. But people you see working, you look, oh, they're poor people, but they work until 60, 70 years old, busting their ass in fields. Why? Because they got to. If America was now to lose all their benefits and say, we need no Social Security, no welfare, none, nothing at all, no goddamn help, your problem is your problem, America will goddamn crumble. Why? Because people are used to going somewhere, knocking on the door, saying, well, I need help, I need help. Other places, it's not like, it's not like that. So it makes the people much more stronger. But I still say this here, America's losing their grip on the world. You know, we have no more allies that we can really depend on. We have Great Britain, which is America, cousin, mother, whatever they want to call them, big brother. You have Australia, which is also um, 
people who were sent from Europe, these penal colonies, these bad people, rapists, robbers, thieves, all the people that they sent to Australia and things like that, and also to America. So once you see they're they descendants from thieves and murderers and the worst scum from Great Britain. That's what they are, right? So now, like I said, we have no kind of, um, let's see, allies. What allies do we have? Just them two. There's no powerful allies in there. But now you got to look at um, what the China, what they're doing now. They have the biggest navy in the world now. While America was sitting around slacking, pushing drugs into neighborhoods, you know, Contra fear, Iran, Contra fear, Iran, Contra fear, Oliver North, they pulling the crack cocaine inside of them. America killing us black people and minorities. They ain't give a goddamn about it. They're pushing that shit. They're pushing it, pushing it. Do you see George Bush Sr., his little devil ass, was commercial some of Oh, the number one um, threat to America is cocaine. He says it's cocaine. He's in a nation capital where people are selling drugs enough three blocks away from the goddamn um, the capital. Like they really care. They ain't give a goddamn thing because it was their plan, you know, to kill us off. But I say right now, they're crumbling now. They have no allies. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're pushing all this China shit now. They believe China alone. They believe China alone, I'm you right now. They got the biggest goddamn Navy. They the one, probably one of the biggest armies. They got the biggest people over there. And they want caught reserves there. It's, it's not going to be like the draft here in America. Well, come on in, this and that. You know, in, in China, they come to get their biggest, um, biggest buses, stop in neighborhoods, snatch your motherfuckers up. Come on, bring your ass along. You know what I'm saying? Plus, they have allies. They have allies with strength, with money and power. You know what I'm saying? They have the Chinese got Russia, Iran, South Korea, Saudi Arabia. Those are the only things that you really need right there to crumble America. Why? Because Saudi Arabia, they, our banking system is comes from Saudi Arabia. It's about 12% of our system. You know, of our banking system, money is inside the banks. Saudi Arabia, another country, has their money in America, America soil. They put all their money out, that'd be 12% of our banking system gone. They don't want to mess with Saudi Arabia. You see, going over trying to kiss their butt there, Biden, trying to head bump them over there. That's not working no more. They are sick of America over there. The things that have happened for the Iraqi war, the things that they've been aggressive, treating Africa like they ain't shit, like this is what we're going to do. We are Americans and this and that, yada, 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 yada. That agenda is finished now. The agenda is finished. You see right now, America's trying to put um, sanctions on Uganda. Sanctions on Uganda because of LBGTQ stuff. America always worrying about other places. Always worrying about other places, about some gay stuff. Keep that gay shit in America. Leave Africa alone with that bull. We don't care. We know the gay people throughout the whole goddamn world. But mind your business about what's going on over there. Shit like that there. But America's got them crumbling. You know what I'm saying? It's crumbling. It's done. It's, it's crumbling. It's most, you make a political and blow it a goddamn way. There's no more morals in America. You know, there's trannies and all this other goddamn stuff going around. You look at job applications now, it says male, female, or binary. Binary. America's crumbled. America's done. I've been saying that shit. There. It's done. There's it's, it's no more, how you say, more power. You know, when people look at it and say, oh, America, you know, you know, we see them as a superpower, things like that. That's not being, that's, that's, that's gone. The days is finished. It's ain't the 80s no more. The days are finished. You know what I'm saying? And nobody wants to use the um the American currency. Even Saudi Arabia, China, and Russia's getting together now. Buddies, they buddies now. They are buddies all against America. You know what I'm saying? All that oil money there. You got Russia trapped like Russia's weak because they're fighting Ukraine. I bet you if Russia just let let all that shit go, they could take out the Ukraine much more faster. Without the help of Americans jumping aside, they do what they, they got to do to just leave alone. We will see what happens. But they try to fight for allies and things there. You ain't gonna got them work. You ain't got but two allies: Great Britain and Australia. They're all the same people. In America too, they're all the same. We just got different accents. <laughs> you know, that's all it is. America's done. Like I say, Nigga Damas predicts American children will be speaking Mandarin within fifty years. Telling you, 50 years, fam, that's all it takes. It might be even less than that, dear. Uh, because the, um, the European American is, um, they're done. They will be the minority within 20 years. Within 20 years, they're done. You got other countries buying land in, in America. You can't go into other countries and buy land. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You might at least land, do nothing like that, but America, 
they are selling the land. The Saudis, um, Pakistanis got money, everyone got money to buy America. America's turned to a damn cheap whore. America has turned into a cheap whore. It's a goddamn shame. No one fears us no more. No one. There's no more respect no more because of our politicians. You had a little respect when Trump was there, you know what I'm saying, four years of peace. Biden come back in. It's all this China stuff. China, 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 China. Every time they go sit there, talk with other countries, they got to put China, put China. The people don't want to hear that more. You hear the African country saying, you keep talking about China, but China's doing things for us. What have y'all done all these goddamn years? You haven't done a goddamn thing for Africa. We'll carve it up with these European countries. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad Africa's not dealing with these um, European countries no more. They're speaking up. Like, like, fuck y'all. We don't need y'all more. We don't need y'all more. They can buy their arms from Russia and get their goddamn arms from China too. You know? And prosper. You know what I'm, I'm not saying China's the, um, the key thing there because I don't trust that China shit being this because once you take loans, you can't repay the loans. They're going to take their stuff back. So... Africa, we're going to be up a lot of natural resources. <laughs> they're going to do China, they're going to do it. That's probably the plan, too, for China to take that shit there, too, fam. It's, it's a dog and dog world out there. It's a dog and dog world, and um, America's being chewed up and spit out. Like, you know what I'm saying? No power, no allies, no real leadership. You know, you look at America, you look at Biden, that's our leader. It's a joke. You know, it's really a joke, fam. It's a joke. But like I tell you, like this here, 50 more years, but we speak in Mandarin. Nothing you could do about it. We have no um, things that we make in America, import and export. What we, what we got, China can shut us down anytime they want. You know, Taiwan makes the microchips, the leader of microchips, and China's saying that is ours. They say they're taking Ty Taiwan by the year 2027. That's about three, four more years. You see what's going on now. China's getting aggressive. China say, hey, I keep doing this. We're we, we, we going to fight back. And what's going to happen? Huh? What kind of happened there? Was they shut things down? America could, could not even, um, during the pandemic, they didn't have enough masks for about a week. After about a week, they, they ran out of masks and had to get their masks from China. You had to get your masks from China. So China was saving them, saving America. You know what I'm saying, fam? It's a goddamn shame. We don't have masks. We have shit. We don't have nothing. We got Americans standing on them soup lines because they have no, um, no food, no money, nothing at all. The banking system is gone. Banks are crumbling now. You better get your money out of them banks if you can. You know what I'm saying? Put them in your own. Got, what you got to do? Take your money out of that goddamn bank. Because they're going to come up there where you can't touch your money. The Americans will go off then. The Americans going to go off then. There's going to be chaos on the street there. And why not? When these crooked politicians and government just using people there. You know, so these demons up there in, the, in, um, in Washington, D.C., they don't care about you. You get your social security not. They got theirs. These, these piece of turds, you know, they're going to be inside the Senate for six years. That's all they need, six years. They can retire for their whole life and get a check for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? The politician game ain't nothing but the same as the drug game. The same as the drug game, you know what I'm saying? There's no difference. There's no difference, fam. And I'm out. Peace.